Over half of online orders are actually made on mobile devices. However, so many stores are not properly optimized for consumers that are shopping on their mobile phones. So in this video, I'm going to be going over exactly how to optimize your site for mobile devices. It is so important that your site looks good on mobile devices, because think about it. If people are on their phone and they're looking at your site and your images don't look good or things aren't sizing correctly, they're not going to purchase from you. They're just going to leave because it's just going to be frustrating for them and you're losing out on potential sales. So you really want to make sure that you know exactly how your site looks on mobile devices and that it's optimized correctly. So I'm going to go over a few different tips now for how to make sure that your site looks good on mobile phones. First off, you just want to make sure you're actually looking at it and you know exactly what your site looks like. So some Shopify themes have really great mobile friendly designs and others are not as good. You want to make sure that you know exactly how your site looks on mobile whenever you're picking out a Shopify theme and look and see exactly how it's optimized for mobile. So some Shopify themes actually let you add in a separate mobile friendly image for mobile devices. So for example, your homepage slideshow image, a lot of times they're very horizontal and on mobile that doesn't look good. Either you're losing detail in the photo or it's getting cropped off somewhere or any text that you have in the photo just doesn't show up at all. However, some themes will actually let you upload a separate image for mobile devices. So then you can crop it to be a little bit more specific and make it more square so it really highlights the image better. Again, not all themes have that capability, so you want to make sure that you know exactly what the mobile capabilities are when you're looking for a Shopify theme. My next tip would be to take full advantage of shoppable images and post on social media. So we've done a couple different videos on this channel already about how to do shoppable posts for Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest. But what this lets you do is add in an image to Instagram, for example, and tag your products in the image. So that way, if they like the image and they're interested in your products, they can just really easily click on the tagged product and then shop it on your site. It makes it really helpful because a lot of us are actually using our phones for social media. So we're already using this functionality and then we can easily click over and purchase on your site. Now I'm not going to go over in this video how to set these up because we do already have separate tutorials for these. So I will put a link to the different tutorials for how to set this up for Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest in the description below as well as the info cards above. My next tip is in regards to voice search. So this was one of the top trends that I listed out in our top e-commerce trends video for 2021. So if you haven't seen that yet, make sure to check that out below and I'll also link it above there as well. But voice search is really going to be important. So this is anytime people are using things like smart devices, like a Google Home or Alexa or Siri or Cortana on your phone. Anytime people are just Googling and actually asking the question out loud, your product could actually be served to them there. So it's really important to make sure that you are optimizing your product and your website for that. So a great way to do that is to properly use alt tags for your images, as well as know exactly what your customers are searching for when they're looking for your products and adding those keywords in to your product pages just to make sure that your site overall is really search engine optimized. This will help you get pulled up not only in the search engines, but also in voice search. So that's going to be really helpful just as another way to get you found when people are looking for your products on their phone. And my last tip is to think about installing a chat bot on your site. So a great example of this is Facebook Messenger. A lot of us actually already have Facebook Messenger app on our phone. So that way a customer that may have a question about your product or your sizing of the product or shipping times or anything like that can easily ask that question through the Facebook Messenger little app on your site 
and you're able to then respond. Now you can set up automated messages as a auto reply. However, it's going to be really beneficial if you're able to actually answer these questions very quickly because people are actually going to be expecting that when they send you a message through one of these chat bots. So if you are gonna set up one of these chat bots on your site, make sure that you have the bandwidth capabilities to actually answer these questions really quickly. Otherwise you won't see as many benefits from having that on your site. I hope you found these tips helpful in terms of how to optimize your site for mobile devices. We've got more Shopify quick tips coming out every single Tuesday and you can see the full playlist over here and make sure you also have subscribed to this channel. We post new videos every week all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.